everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're looking again at the Brix Fanless PC because I wanted to find a way to control the Brix without having to use a full-size keyboard and mouse, especially if I'm going to eventually work this into my home theater environment. I wanted a simpler way uh, to use it. And, you know, there are a lot of, like, home theater front ends that you can get, but you're always finding, you know, I'm always finding, I'm always going back to Windows every once in a while to control things, and I wanted a really simple way to control it, but I also wanted something that would work across multiple platforms. And I found this little keyboard on Amazon. There's, it's made by a bunch of different different manufacturers. It's called the Mini, and it's really cool. It is a, uh, a fully functional keyboard and a trackpad on a single device that's Bluetooth. It's not some proprietary dongle. It just works over Bluetooth, and it works great. Uh, not only does it work with my bricks, but it also works with my Ouya and any Android device. And the keyboard portion, not the trackpad, but the keyboard uh, will also work on iOS. And I really like the, the size. It's about the size of a remote control. So it's really, you know, it's not too hard to use and uh, it pairs up pretty easily. So what we're going to do real quick here uh, is we're going to pull up my computer and we're also going to, oops, the wrong device there. Uh, we're also going to pull up the, uh, the little device here and we'll just hit the Bluetooth button here after switching it on. It's got a built-in battery on board also. So you just hit the Bluetooth pairing button and we're going to see it pop up here. And I'm just going to go and connect to it. And all right, it took Windows a minute to just get everything installed. It didn't need any drivers. Windows has all those built in, but it just took a second or two to get up and running. But as you can see, I can type on here. Uh, then I can also use the trackpad. Let me see if my, there's my mouse and I can move it around. Um, what's nice is that they give you a couple different options for pushing mouse buttons. So on the side here, you can push this for a left click and this side for a right click. You can also do it right here so you have um, some alternatives. Mine broke on this side already and it actually feels like a pretty well-built keyboard. So it was surprising that uh, this button is already broken. So I'm going to be returning this and getting a replacement. They already uh, accepted my uh, RMA request so they were very quick about that. So I'm going to get that fixed because I think it's a lot easier uh, to use the left side here, the button here on the left as uh, a mouse button versus, uh, versus uh, just hitting these buttons here. Uh, you also have an arrow keypad as well so you can move up and down. Uh, just basically uh, mimics an arrow uh, key set on your regular keyboard so that's pretty cool as well so it's a fully functional keyboard uh, and it's a fully functional trackpad all in one little device which I think is pretty cool it's also very small again it's about the size of a remote control so uh, for a home theater PC it's kind of a nice and non-intrusive way if you do have to pop into Windows uh, to check that out but it also uh, works across platforms so let's see how it works on my Ouya console which is running the Android operating system all right, I have paired up the keyboard with my Ouya, and again, this is an Android system, so it will work with just about any Android device as well. As you can see, I can use the mouse with the trackpad here, and I can also, of course, use my arrow keys. And what's cool about using this with something like the Ouya or Android is that if you want to have keyboard controls for some emulators that require maybe number pads or that sort of thing, uh, this will certainly get you there. You may have to use the controller separately, which might be a little awkward depending on the game or whatever, but uh, one of the greatest examples I can show would be uh, War Games, which was a ColecoVision game. What I've done is mapped all of the ColecoVision's number pad uh, numbers to the keyboard, so I can just uh, select my uh, easy challenge level. And this was one game where you had to hit the, uh, the number pads here to actually jump around in the game. And again, it might be a little bit awkward uh, having to use the keyboard in this manner, but uh, it is something that I think will actually get you back maybe to using some of these older games that require a little bit more than just a traditional controller input. So, uh, so I'm pretty impressed with this. The build quality is not so great, at least from the standpoint of these side buttons. I mean, overall, it feels pretty nice. Uh, there's a built-in battery. You charge it via USB, and I think it's pretty useful. I just uh, I'm going to send it back, uh, get this fixed, and I'll let you know if I still have any more problems with it. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.